What's up guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Lori, if you are new here, I am a family nurse practitioner. And in today's video, I want to answer one of the most frequently asked questions that I get. Besides how much money I make as a family nurse practitioner, which I did an entire video about how much money you should expect to be making if you are a new um, subscriber on my channel, go ahead and check that video out. It's only a five minute video and it will answer a lot of your questions when it comes to the nurse practitioner pay grade. So I will link it here and also in the description description box but what I also get asked frequently is how many hours are you truly working and is it conducive with work-life balance I get this a lot over on my Instagram in DMs I get emails about this and I also get it on my YouTube channel so I said you know what I'm gonna go ahead and make a video about this I know a lot of you who work as nurses you work your eight-hour shifts your 10-hour shift or your 12-hour shift so you either are working four tens five eights or three twelves and you're kind of used to that schedule and when you jump into the nurse practitioner role sometimes the hours look a little bit different and you're uncertain about the hours and I think that's why I get this qu the question a lot because I look like I'm doing so much and my hours are all over the place I'm gonna talk about pre-virus the peak of the virus versus now that the virus is kind of dying down fingers crossed. I'm going to talk to you guys about how much hours I'm truly really working. And I think a lot of you guys look at my vlogs, especially my weekend vlogs, and you're like, sis, you are working a whole lot. How much are you really working? Is that what I am really going to be doing? But you guys also have to take into consideration that uh, every nurse practitioner role or every job is different. And I only go to the hospital one week in a month, guys, if you're newer to my channel. I only go one week in a month. So let's get into the video but first make sure that you guys are subscribed to my channel and also click that notification bell so you are notified every time I upload a video you know what one of my subscribers recently told me that YouTube has been unsubscribing her from my channel I don't know why YouTube I play games YouTube don't want me to be great over here but if you think that you've subscribed to my channel make sure you just kind of look down eyeball to make sure that red subscribe button is checked off and thank you guys again for supporting the channel now I'm gonna kind of show you guys my schedule pre-virus on the screen right now and when I first started working in this role I am in the same role which I started almost two years ago if you guys are newer on my channel I wear many hats I guess as this nurse practitioner role calls for because I do see patients majority in the nursing home setting and I do wound care as well as I round in hospital one week in a month as well as sometimes I do go to the office and work. Pre-virus, my schedule looked like this. So on Mondays, Mondays were typically the days where I would go and see nursing home patients and I typically will work an eight hour day on Mondays. Sometimes I would stay in some of the facilities in China sometimes I would just see my patients and then I would leave go to like Panera or Starbucks and chart but typically on Mondays I will do an eight-hour day Tuesdays would be the same same nursing um, home setup where I go see patients and do the same routine for Tuesdays I had an option on Tuesdays to go to the office if I want to and I used to take advantage of this because sometimes I needed a break from the nursing home setting so I would just show up to the office and help out my boss and listen he didn't have no problems with that because it was less work for him when I show up on a Tuesday to see some of the patients that he has scheduled Tuesdays would definitely also be an eight-hour day on Wednesdays I would see patients for wound care and I would typically go to two different buildings to do wound care and Wednesdays would Wednesdays would be between a six to an eight hour day depending how much patients I need to see now I will tell you guys that my my pay has nothing to do with how many hours I work. If you're a newer nurse practitioner and you're kind of wondering about like the nurse practitioner contract and what you should expect, I also did a video about that and I will link it here and down below. Also, if you guys are new to my channel, a lot of questions that I get now, I probably have a video geared towards that. So go ahead and kind of just look through the catalog of videos that I already have on my channel. And if anything is not there and you want me to make a video on, also leave it in the um, comments down below. Wednesdays would be the days where I do wound care. And I would do wound care at two different facilities. 
and it depends how many patients I have to see because wound care I can see 30 patients one day and I can see 10 patients one day it only it just depends how many wound care patients is at the facility before the virus I was averaging seeing up to 30 patients a day on Wednesdays for wound care and that would typically take me around eight hours Tuesdays would be my my nursing home days where I go to another facility and I stay there for the entire day seeing patients and that would be another eight hour day and then Fridays would be my five hour days I would do wound care patients and the building that I normally go to on Fridays they don't have a lot of wound care patients so I would be there for like five hours so as you can see um, almost like a 40 hour a week for my times that I'm working pre virus now when the virus hit i was left with less patients so that means a lot of my patients um expired due to the virus as well as a lot of the nursing home setting they were not allowing patients to be admitted in the facilities and also they were preventing the providers to come into the building so i was only allowed to go to one building and it was only once a week seeing regular patients everything else i was doing from home and i was seeing less patients because i didn't have the patient load to see anymore so when the virus hit i was legit working maybe 25 hours a week and i will say that i'm very grateful that my boss never cut my paycheck even though i'm salary because whether i work 100 hours a week or 20 hours a week i get the same paycheck and he didn't cut my paycheck at all i do have friends who have been affected by this because a lot of physicians are affected by what's going on with the virus a lot of their patient expired and also a lot of their patient load it's just not there anymore and then now fast forward now that everything is hopefully at a manageable situation fingers crossed double fingers crossed I am back to pre virus hours except on Thursdays where I am still solely working from home so that is pretty much what it is looking like for me and my hours and how much I really work as far as work-life balance it works out for me with the job that I'm currently doing right now I'm actually virtually schooling my son so what I am doing is I wake up quite early to go see patients so I go to the facilities by 6 30 sometimes so that I can be home by 12 o'clock at least half of my chart is not fully done but at least I come home I am a part of um, helping him with the virtual learning give my husband a break because my husband is working full-time from home and do homework and stuff and then I can sit down and do my charting I am really grateful for this job because it really does work out for me and my lifestyle let me know in the comments what area you guys are trying to work in I hope this video helped you guys a little bit shed, in, shed some light on how many hours I'm really working as well as uh, yes and yes it is very doable with a family because I am doing it and I have no problems really doing it thank you guys for watching and don't forget to like comment and subscribe and I'll catch you guys up in my next video bye guys